We have breaking news. Whoa. Cam Newton has signed with the Panthers. Wow. The wow. Ian Rappaport, who will join us in one hour from now. Big time reunion. The Panthers are signing former franchise quarterback Cam Newton after meeting with Carolina Brass today. Thanks to the Sam Darnold injury, Cam is back with the Panthers. Okay, so Sam Darnold expected to be out four to six weeks or something like yep. that. Yeah. He has a uh, fractured or incomplete shoulder fracture yeah. or something mm. like that. And it's the way the word that was used was wild uh, scapula. Oh, there it is. He is a fractured scapula. And that's obviously near the humerus. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then there's other things that are near the scapula that you just collarbone. You hope <laughs> never ever get in there. And there's a labrum that's dancing around oh, with the yeah. scapula. Hanging on. And they were doing a little bit too much dirty dancing. That's right. Almost fractured the scapula in there. Who put that tweet out? Uh, which one? The scapula one? Yeah. Crafty. Of course. Tony. So it's scapula or just the common term shoulder blade. This fucking guy. Scrap sheet. We'll this ask guy. him about it one hour from yeah. now. Why what he has to be ass. such a That's why? what I'm talking about. A scapula is a shoulder blade? It says the scapula or shoulder blade is a large triangular shaped bone that lies in the upper back. I can't wait to drop that on SmackDown. Oh, <laughs> scapula. Drop them on his yeah. scapula. <laughs> Both scapulas <laughs> flat on the back. <laughs> Anyways. Not a laughing situation. No, 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 no. We hope your shoulder blades are okay. Yeah, T's and P's. But I think this is potentially an opportunity for the Panthers to be like, hey, Sam, we appreciate you, but we're going to go ahead and move on. We don't know if PJ is going to be the answer, who is allegedly stepping in for him now and did step in for him in the past. But we're also going to bring back Cam Newton, who I, I'm trying to think back and rack my brain whenever this uh, rumor potentially started last night or maybe this morning. Cam and Matt Rule were never around each other, right? No, no never. It was just the owner that let Ron Rivera go, right, yep. in the early in the season. Right. Like, yeah. Hey, just want to let you know, you're not going to be our guy for the future. You can go ahead and just enjoy the rest of the season and uh, start looking at your potential jobs. I appreciate your service. Ron Rivera said he appreciated it. Mm -hmm. I think the ownership said they appreciated it. I don't know how it was with Tepper and Cam on the way out. Was it dicey in there? I, I don't know, but I do remember Rule. I think, if I remember correctly, Rule having to at, answer oh, yeah. questions like, yes. is Cam going to be at your At training camp, right? It was yeah. happening at training camp. Mm -hmm. It was early. When he signed. Like, as soon as he signed, like, hey, is Cam going to be your quarterback? They yeah. released him very late. Well, whatever the case, they yeah. seem to be over it. They yeah, seem to be yeah. over it. Uh, you would hope that there would probably be a conversation, like, hey, the way that went, maybe this is how you didn't like it, maybe this is how we didn't like it. It's great to have you back in the building. We have no idea what long-term looks like, okay? We, we traded for Teddy Bridgewater last year. We, we paid him out of the Saints organization. We paid him the, a big-time deal. I, Brought Joe Brady in, the offense coordinator. Teddy Bridgewater didn't have Christian McCaffrey. See ya. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Can't do it. You can't win us the Super Bowl now or next year. Get the fuck out. See ya. And that's what you can do when you have the wealthiest owner in the NFL. He wants to make things happen right now. So, Cam, you come in and help us out. We'd be very grateful for it, but we have no idea what long term is. You get, hey, Cam Newton, Christian McCaffrey in the backfield yeah. now. Yeah. They're gonna have good. to. Joe Brady's gonna have to change up the offense. I assume you got Robbie Anderson still there making plays. Who told Sam Darnold, "Tighten the fuck up, dude." <laughs> right. He's about fed up with it as well. Cam going to Carolina is awesome. I hope he gets to play. I have no idea how it's gonna go. I hope he's in great shape. I assume he is because he is just a physical freak. He's out from the uh, the COVID situation. Yeah, right? he is. Yeah. I think he got vaccinated. He is now he, vaccinated. He and now he's on the Carolina Panthers. Follow-up uh, at Rap Sheet says, Cam Newton had a good meeting with owner David Tepper, GM Scott Fitter. Because mm -hmm. you can be fit, you can be fitter, mm -hmm. or you can even be fitterer. fitterer. That's right. And Vice President of Football Operations, Stephen Drummond, Steve. he had previously met with Ke uh, Coach Rule, an honest conversation that needed to happen. They cleared the air and we'll move forward. Okay, so there literally just talked yeah. about it. You're welcome for the tweet wrap report. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm happy that takes place. That's pretty big news. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he already has chemistry with DJ Moore, who's their number one. He was still the quarterback there when he came into the league, obviously. Christian, like you said, McCaffrey, Christian. yeah. So, I mean, that could easily be a little uh, run for the Panthers. And this is, this is big time revenge run, right? Yeah. To, to prove the haters wrong. Even within the Panthers organization. That's yeah. right. It is new offense, though, right? Yeah. He never, he's never run this no. offense. No. Yeah, Joe Brady's going to have to change it, though. I think it's a much different offense if Cam Newton's yeah. there as opposed to Sam Darnold. But P.J. can move, so I guess he's got... Hey, Sam's been scooting this yeah. year. Sam had a couple yeah, rushing touches. Sam also has been scooting right to that old... Oh, is that Adam Gase, Sam Darnold? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah he has, remember, he was... The, the last game I saw, I think he was running backwards. 
and then he did one of these. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it was quadruple coverage. Uh huh. And it was a guaranteed interception. Oh, yeah. He uh -huh. threw a pick six last week, couple in the red zone. It was, it was very electric. I wonder why some guys, like Sam Darnold makes these incredible plays. Mm -hmm. the, the protection of the ball, I think, by fans and maybe some media people, not all media people, okay, please, but some media people, the thought of the ability of somebody takes precedence of over how they actually are in the game. Like Sam Darnold, all the people that came out and were like, he's going to be awesome out from underneath there. Then he had some plays where he looked awesome, and it was like, yeah, maybe Sam Darnold is going to be a guy. And all of a sudden, you start thinking, oh, this guy's ability is that he can be a guy. And then all of a sudden, he just gets back into the thing of like, oh, I don't give a fuck about this football. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're going to be in a real situation if Cam does well, too. Well, how do you have to worry back. about that? This guy. You don't Tony, think Cam's going to do well? What do you mean? He hasn't Tony. done well in five years. Whoa! Oh, he had a broken foot, a car crash, a COVID, a break. And, and Max, great, but he lost out to a rookie quarterback in camp this year. Well, different offense, you know. It's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was a Don, much he won't I love him. He's a great player for a long time, but hasn't been also for a long time. And that's a valid, valid point. And I'd assume that Cam hears that. Uh huh. Cam yep. knows that. I think he's even talked about it in an iconic saga production right. on YouTube, mm. which is one of my favorite. Just production company. Yeah. They make good shit. Oh, yeah. He Him makes, and Cecil. He makes great shit yeah. down there. I think he's even addressed it like, I can't go out like this. Like, a lot of people are mm -hmm. talking about it. Because remember all the way back to even when Cam was in the Juco. Oh, yeah. Rapping in front of the entire. Cam is always dominated. Oh, yeah. He's got the juice. So imagine the, the taste in his mouth about how the last couple of years have gone. And now I said this last year as well when he went to New England. Yeah. In seven touchdowns or something. Yeah. Eight, excuse me. Do you me. think? <laughs> Ten picks. Do you think touchdowns. he's anticipating going <laughs> in there being the starter? No, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Are they? Are you? They're not signing him as a backup. Yeah. Kim. He's got to be playing. But also, You know how loud that place would get? P.J. Walker, awesome. We love P.J. Walker. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Love him. Met P.J. Walker when he was a Colt. Yeah. Um, Best XFL quarterback of all time. I agree. Now, Jordan Taolmu. Yeah. yeah full well, he, Cardale Jones, too. I mean, I mean there was... We but he Heineke. XFL 1 or 2. There's Tommy Maddox. No, uh -huh. hey, listen. Tommy Heineke. fucking Maddox. We ain't talking about <laughs> XFL about 1. Heineke's uh, our guy. Anyways, PJ is... We are fans of PJ. Yes. But if PJ does anything first quarter, second quarter, that isn't good, and you have Cam Newton standing on the sidelines in Carolina, in... The same stadium that I got to witness the Cam Newton thing, that's going to get loud. Yeah. Rule knows that. Mm -hmm. That's why you had to have a hard conversation. Like, I think they're planning for Cam Newton when he learns the offense, Joe Brady's offense, to be the guy. I don't think it's going to be this weekend. I don't okay. think he'll probably be in a hoodie, maybe, I think, this weekend. So, probably like two weeks to learn the offense, week and a half? I don't know. I don't know. He said, uh, how long did it take him to learn the New England one, which everybody says is like calculus in this entire mm -hmm. Yeah, he came in like a month before the season and he started. Week one, but I mean... So this will probably assume with Joe Brady and Carolina in the circumstance they're in, this will be a much quicker turnaround. Well, but if they got them in pads this weekend... Yeah. They're going to be cheering for After them. this week, they have the Cardinals this weekend, and then it gets significantly easier. They have the football team, the Dolphins, the Falcons the next three Yeah, weeks. so you okay. have them start next week, yep. obviously. Now, granted, it is Thursday, and we're Ron, acting as if Cam could <laughs> against start Against Ron Rivera next weekend. Oh, oh Revenge awesome. game. Here we go.